As well as three news. Man, really cool to see all yeah. those kids. They're getting started at such a young I age. Know, I love seeing that stuff. That's kind of like taking me back to my roots, small town, Texas. But yeah, really cute. And I told you I love their little bows. Very cute. Not cute as the fog because I could mm -hmm. walk outside right now and you wouldn't see me. So you could just call me John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. That's it. I yep. told you to. Yeah. So it's foggy out there. It That is an understatement. But we've got a big patch of fog out towards the brush country towards Duval County here in Corpus Christi. Our visibility keeps going up, but out towards Habernville, it's still at about a quarter mile. All that red is dense fog. So if you're out on the roads this morning, make sure you're taking it easy, giving yourself a little extra travel time. And even though there is that big patch of fog out there, there's not a dense fog advisory yet, but we do have a dense marine fog advisory for the coast that goes until 10 o'clock this morning. However, I do think the fog is going to be a little slow to get out of here right now. A little bit of some cloud cover here in the coastal bend shower activity, mostly up to our northeastern counties, and I think that's generally where it's going to stay throughout this afternoon. I do think the shower Hours are going to hang on a little bit longer in those northeastern counties than for us here in Corpus Christi. The clouds, though, going to hang on through about lunchtime for most of us. And then I think generally from about two o'clock to four is when we're all going to be on the clearing out. So by this evening, we're going to see more sunshine and it's going to be probably the last time until late this coming week. The sunshine, though, going to help temperatures warm up into the upper 70s and over 80 degrees in some places. We're going to have southeasterly winds gusty at times, and that's going to continue to bring in humidity over uh, the course of the day and throughout this evening and we're going to have a cold front come in. We're already going to start seeing some patchy shower activity. The clouds are going to build right back in. However, I do think that cold front is going to stall and then it's just going to become a pesky stationary front that's going to plague our weather for the next couple of days. So I think for Monday, our actual high temperature is going to be around midnight. Then we're going to cool down to about 60 for Monday morning and then about 66 for our high Monday afternoon, which is pretty similar to that day's high. It's just technically not the actual high. Lots of cloud cover for Monday with those scattered rain chances continuing, and that's pretty much going to be the same thing going on for the rest of the week. The reason we've got colder air behind that surface front and then the warmer air has to rise over it, and as that happens, that air condenses into the stratiform clouds, just that thick blanket of gray cloud cover that we've seen, and that gives us the patchy light drizzle that we're going to continue to have over this coming week. Today, I don't think the rain chances are all that high. Tomorrow and Tuesday, the rain chances go up to about 30%, so they're there, but not that high. But starting Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday, as we get a next cold front coming in, I think those rain chances are going to go back up. So here's the first cold front coming in, and it's uh, becoming stationary. What side of the front you're on depend or will dictate which uh, you're going to be if you're going to be cooler or warmer. I think most of us in the coastal bend are going to be on the cooler side of the front. So between Monday and Wednesday, even Thursday, our lows are going to stick to the 40s and 50s highs in the 50s and 60s. Then rainfall, I think a quarter inch to half inch of rain as this stationary front joins this low pressure and that all moves across here with a cold front that pushes through and brings sunshine back to the coastal bend as well as cooler temperatures. So a beautiful weekend in store. We just got to get through the rain temperatures today warm under those uh, decreasing clouds this afternoon. You can see that cold front coming through the coastal bend with cooler temperatures to the north, warmer to the south this evening. So again, we've got the clearing skies this afternoon. Then the clouds come right back with a cold front overnight tonight and they stick around through about Thursday afternoon. So if you want the sunshine before next Friday, go get it this afternoon. Brandon. All right, Kristen, good advice there.